Cincy. Today we have a little four channel plane for you guys. Uh, the cool part is this has a, a gyro so it'll help you learn to fly. Uh, don't always rely on one of course uh, but this will help you get the basics. It does have some gimmicky stuff like the return. It may get you in the right direction. Not 100% sure we'll test it. And then of course the one touch acrobatics. It is really durable. Uh, it's EPP foam so it's supposed to be really strong. Has the prop breakaway system. Um, uh, this is by Top Race, and I think the model number, where is it? It's right there. It's the TRC385, uh, so it's a 500 uh, millimeter uh, wingspan, so it's okay size. Typically a park flyer. I probably wouldn't bring this to an airfield. Excuse me. Um, what else? I talked about the stun button, one key return, durability stuff, six axis gyro stabilization, 2.4 gigahertz. And then a uh, single battery, it runs on 3.7 volt. Uh, single core motor is important. I know the uh, WL Toys had like two of them together or three of them together to make a system that was crap. Uh, supposedly this one's decent with the prop breakaway system. So let's get into the unboxing and see what all what you get and uh, go from there. So these foams are a pain in the butt to pull out. So I already had it pulled out. Um, the funny part is I actually bought this from a co-worker at work. Uh, his son couldn't fly it or something. It is challenging. There are flight simulators. I would go that route first uh, and then maybe get like a three. I, honestly, I don't like two and three channels just because they won't teach you proper uh, controls. If you've flown a drone before, it does help with understanding pitch roll, um, all that fun stuff. Uh, so you just have these little foam pieces. The plane comes right out. So let's go through the accessories really quickly. You do get a, I can't remember, I think this is a 400 milliamp battery, low C connection. So a very basic battery, you get tons of these on Amazon. Very abundant, I have a ton of them. Uh, decent little 0.5 uh, milliamp uh, charger, so 500 milliamps. So this will charge uh, maybe right around an hour. So I think the first charges could take a little longer. Up to two, don't charge over two, I think is what the manual said. Uh, depending on the sizes, because they probably have different sizes and stuff, so they have like a basis for it, which I kind of get. Let's just quickly, let's set that right there. I can make it a little easier for us. And then the props, I do believe you get less. I think somehow you got an extra one, or I think you got an extra one, or I don't know what happened, but I think you're only supposed to get two, and he gave me four props. So, thank you. <laughs> That's a bonus. I'll take it. So you can see the breakaway system. It's these little clear plastic things. Let me show you how it works really quickly off of the plane. So this part right here goes on the shaft and then there's a prop with a plastic insert. I think this is screwed in from this side. So this would snap on like that. So when you wreck hard enough, this will, when it spins and hits the ground and it pushes and turns, it will separate. So when there's a spin, not when it's just standing there, it won't come off. But when it's spinning and it hits force and this turns, it'll twist itself off and keep itself from breaking. That's a really nice system. And then it goes right back on. So it keeps you from breaking and damaging the motor, the gears, and the prop. So kudos there. It does work. Uh, it has a downside, but it does work because if you break all the little plastic things, then you can't connect it. I think I have two of the rod plastic parts and then, um, yeah, two of those and then the four props. I think it only comes with one plastic thing, one on the motor, and then one extra prop, I think, or two. We'll have to verify that. Uh, of course, the trusty landing gear. You can see they have an angle. I'm not sure if they go forward or back. We'll kind of see the way it has kind of some spring to it or tension. We'll see the ground clearance as well. So we'll decide that. In the picture, it looks like it's going forward, but I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, if they're crooked, you can bend them for make sure it tracks straight. 
they roll, they have a little bit of stickiness to them because you kind of want it to slow down too. It's kind of like in a medium, like a medium, medium. <laughs> uh, what else? Controller. Take these little foam things off. Whoops. My dog will eat that. <laughs> he beats everything. Uh, I put my, uh, what do you call it? Duracell batteries in it. Uh, I would use alkaline battery, something decent. I test it to make sure it works. You know what I mean? Uh, because it wasn't brand new. Well, it is brand new. This one's brand new. Uh, but I think the other one I have wasn't brand new. But anyways, uh, so it has the basic four channel controller. It's got ailerons, four back, which is elevator, left, right, which is your rudder, also known as uh, yaw, and then throttle, which manages the airspeed. Uh, this is your one touch acrobatics. Once you hit this, you just choose right roll, hit it again, left roll, hit it again, back loop i don't think it'll do a front loop but i'm gonna try it that'd be really cool because there's an outside inside loop i don't know but yeah so that's really cool lights flash after a while it will beep and then it'll still search for a signal connect there's still a throttle safety where you have to throttle up down then it'll allow you to use throttle just no no to that uh your key your uh gyro um um, gyro calibration once you get the plane level not with the gear on but you get the plane level uh, both outward like that for a few seconds you'll see a beep or a flash that's how you um, recalibrate the gyro if you have a really gnarly wreck I'd probably recommend that or if it's acting really wonky always start in beginner mode because these are kind of can be wonky these little ones especially if like the control surface is slightly off which I'll show you guys here in a second for manufacturer uh, and then you have your trims and then your one key return and that's about it. So there's that. I think I'm missing one thing, but I'll figure it out later. I think I'm missing one of the functions. Of course, you get a top race little, oh, I love this foam, my favorite foam. Breaks apart, gets everywhere. I'm getting rid of this foam as soon as I'm done with this week. Uh, just has a controller, tells you how to charge, basic information, troubleshooting, uh, you know, should fire a park. It tells you it should be in a soccer field or something with distances around you. Talks about the gyro, how in beginner mode is 100% gyro stabilized. There's a middle mode. I'm not sure what the difference is between the first one and the second one. I think one's more aggressive like with higher gains, probably. Well, the first one has higher gains, and then the second one has lower gains. And then the advanced mode is none, which I love. You can do like some crazy stuff with it because it has decent power. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's all that's going to cover in here. A couple other safety stuff. Read it, though. Just at least skim through it like I did. I've just had so many of these planes that it's pretty much the same information over and over. Oh yeah, look at that, hold on me. So, the plane itself, not a bad little plane. Uh, reminds me of a Super Cub. I love Super Cubs, neat little planes. So it has a, oh, I love that phone. It has a yellow paint scheme, which I do like. The blue may kind of, depending on the weather condition, could fade in. The yellow typically stands out, which I like. Uh, the prop system is already on there. It should come with a prop on it. Uh, you can see it has these metal uh, for carbon fiber or just plastic carbon fiber uh, spars that help strengthen the wing. The wing tips are going to be your weakest points, so please watch that when you wreck. You can break these off. Um, the ailerons have carbon fiber spar here. The main wing structure itself has a carbon spi carbon fiber spar or plastic. I'm not sure if it's carbon fiber at this point. Uh, spar through it as well. I'm sure there's probably one through the fuselage or something like it, or the fuselage is much thicker. Um, you can see you have to crunch this little clip right here to adjust mechanically for the aileron. Uh, what will happen is if it's not in resting position, now don't mess with it now. When you turn on your... Okay, so my iPhone does this thing where it randomly stops. I'm sure I made a funny face. We'll laugh about that one. Uh, but I was talking about the ailerons. So you do, so you squeeze them. You squeeze them to pull the aileron down. You spread it to push it up. You may have to adjust it. Of course, wait till the plane turns on so the, the servo is zeroed out with the gyro off. Um, and then same thing for here. It's a little bit to the, a little bit to this side. Not bad. I'm sure digital trim could, could take care of these problems. But if it doesn't, you have mechanical trim as well. But I typically like to do mechanical than digital. So I have trims in case I'm flying up there. I need a little more. You're not maxing out your trims on the digital and then you're not using, you know, taking advantage of your mechanical trim. Um, little cute little wheel in the back seems to work. Everything has a quality control sticker, by the way. I do give it to Top Race. I've had Top Race products before. I've never had one not work or some issue. 
quality control sticker here. We have quality control sticker on the remote, quality control sticker on the charger, and I think a quality control sticker on the battery. So everything has been tested. So that's a really nice touch. Uh, the door latch system is just, you need a nail, I don't have any nails. So I was carrying a pocket knife, never leave home without it. <laughs> Candace like with her beautiful nails. <laughs> Pop it, honey. Thank you. <laughs> so you're gonna need a nail, and then of course, yes, you need a nail to get that. Wait, I have a trick. So if you're in an airfield and that wire happens to get stuffed in there, you just grab one of your props. It's not gonna hurt it, I promise. Well, I love that phone. I'm gonna have to vacuum now. Uh, oh, my beautiful wife. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> you made the mess, you clean it up. Remember that. Don't be a brat or a douchebag. Um, so here's the connector, mostly on this side. You would plug it in, then you would stuff the battery and then put the connector on top so you could quickly pull it out and unplug it if something wonky is going on. I recommend that. Um, and that's pretty much the gist of it. Now, as far as the landing gear goes really quickly, we'll just pop it on and show you that it works. So, I don't know whether it, the landing gear needs to go this way with the wheels out like that. You can see it has a little bounce. I like it. I like the ground clearance. It's about that much. Let's see if we turn the gear the other way, how much ground clearance and how it behaves. Because it's not as springy. That's weird, isn't it? Now watch. Now, much stiffer, no spring, no give, depending how it lands. And you get a little bit more ground clearance. I would probably do it this way. Uh, I don't need, want it to bounce, you know what I mean? You don't necessarily, in a plane you don't want to bounce. Because in a plane you can bounce, you already have ground effect, other issues. Tailwinds to fight. Bouncing is not your friend. Um, the phone. I love it. I have OCD. Um, so I think I'm going to go this way. The other way, get, I don't need bounce. And look at that. It just wants to stand. It's, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So, and it's it's really hard to. Uh, maybe the other way I won't let you uh, accidentally go forward. So I see that test. Being a tail dragger, you do have to worry about breaking props. Of course, it has a giveaway system. Like on other ones, let's see now. <sighs> Does tend to want to go backwards. I'm gonna fly it both ways, see which one's better. How about that? For now, I'm gonna leave it this way because I did like the way it didn't have as much bounce. And then remember, see how they're a little wonky? One of them might be a little wonky. Don't be afraid to adjust it to where it looks good and it rolls good, right? Once you work it a little bit, you can really figure out which way it needs to tilt. Adjust this one. And then get it nice and straight. Now this one needs to go up too much, about right there. Get it to where it's not like that. Don't get it to where it's tilted. Get it to where the plane is like that. So there you have it. That's the plane itself. Transmitter. We'll grab a battery really quickly, and that's going to wrap up this video because, uh, honestly, I'll do the flight outside separately. I just want to show you everything about this. There's a few things. It, the gyro stabilization is already working. I don't know how it calibrates itself. What, what's it find center? It must just, I don't know. So then you close the door. You face it that way away from you. You turn on this. You go up. Wait till it goes solid. Up, down, throttle safety. Huh? Maybe you have to have it the other way because look. <laughs> Let's see if it does that that way. And it's also the carpet. It's not really rolling. The wheel's getting hung up on the carpet. And you can hear the gyro. See that how it wants to bring itself fastest? See that? So it works beautifully. I will give them that. The gyro system does work. I've had other planes that are not like Spectrum that has gyro systems that do work well. Like for instance, the Beaver is in this price range, that's what blows me. That Beaver had 230 milliamp 2S brushless power, and it's in a price range of this. I don't know if yet if this is worth the price. Yep, it has to be that way. Even if it gets a little resistance, you want it to be able to see how it kind of slows itself down because of resistance of the wheels. So yeah, it has to go forward. I'm glad I found that out. Save you guys a hassle. So there's that. Gyro, so gyro beginner mode, gyro middle mode. You still got gyro, probably not as aggressive. And then last mode, 
nothing. You can roll and flip and do anything you can dream of. If you have enough rotor authority, you probably do a nice edge. You could probably cornhole if you're good enough and enough power. You can see that big cordless motor in there. Geared, of course, up here. So you can, you can get higher speed with the props. Um, just amazing. Uh, not bad. So then you hit this button. Listen. Oh, yeah. Ready? So you're flying. So it has throttle. Let's give it just a little bit of throttle. So then it's flying. Hit this button. And pick the direction. And then it should do the trick. So. See? <laughs> <laughs> so see how the ailerons move to the way to do the roll so it will do the one button roll i guarantee it works it will do all that but i'm like trying to demonstrate it's not actually fine <laughs> i love this i love it i love this hobby and i love this yeah so that's gonna do it for this one guys i think this is cool this is just an unboxing and initial setup uh we're gonna have to go to a local park and fly this honey we'll see today is easter hopefully you have an amazing easter with your family we have some easter stuff going on uh, technically, the Romanian Easter, which is Orthodox Easter, is not till next Sunday. Isn't that interesting? So Christ has risen twice. That's incredible. Uh, we're not sure who's, I'm not saying one's wrong or one's right, but it's a little bit of variance there. It's just a calendar thing, but it's all focused on the same thing, right? The important stuff. So, but yeah. So there you have it. I think it looks cool. It looks sharp. A little Super Cub. These are really strong. Uh, I mean, it's gonna it's gonna take an impact. That's rubber. I mean, it. I could tell you can fly this over grass, guys. I guarantee. I think he said the first one he had with his son. He flew it on concrete and he was doing a roll or flip or something full speed. And he buried it in the concrete and it got hit so hard that it jammed the gear and it broke and it bent the main shaft, busted out the. There's a bushing, not a bearing, a bushing, and it was all jammed up and the motor started smoking. <laughs> yeah. So the only way you're really gonna break this is if you go full speed into something very hard like concrete, asphalt, pole, something like that. If you're flying at a big old field that's grass, having to crash in a tree even, or the grass itself, 99.9% .9 of the time, this is gonna be just fine. If something breaks here, 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 EPO glue or foam glue or foam tack, or no, I don't know, foam safe CA, uh, but I would use foam tack, could glue this right back together and fly it as many times as you want so that's the advantages of these little planes so consider a flight simulator or consider having a drone or something to get an understanding of the all pitch roll all that fun stuff work on orientation that comes at you remember it's a different way if you turn this way it turns the other way just little things like that you'll pick up you'll start the flies so you kind of understand the gyro help you and then towards the end don't rely on the gyro that's the biggest thing people get hung up on a gyro and always have to use a gyro don't do that so that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.